If you have sensitive skin or you're new to actives like exfoliants and retinoids, or you just want to use those actives every single day, then let me tell you about short contact therapy and why it might be for you. In this video, I reached out to three skincare experts that I just love on social media. First is Alex Paget, who's a cosmetic chemist and also the co-founder of Educated Mess Skincare. Also, Dr. Angelo Langesina, who is a board-certified dermatologist and also happens to go by Derm Angelo on both TikTok and on Instagram. And last, Jane Sui, who is also a cosmetic chemist and has really great information on both her Instagram and on TikTok. If you're not familiar with short contact therapy, it basically means you're applying an active ingredient to your skin and then you're rinsing it off after a short period of time instead of leaving it on overnight or throughout the day. This really is not a new concept. It's been done in skincare for a really long time. And if you've ever used some kind of like an acne wash, like salicylic acid or a benzoyl peroxide wash, that essentially is short contact therapy. I just feel like this is a trend that we're actually gonna see become more popular. And we're gonna see a lot more products that are made specifically for short contact therapy in the future. A lot of the time people use short contact therapy so that they can start to tolerate active ingredients that might lead to irritation. So usually this is great for actives like your exfoliating acids, like alpha hydroxy acids, think like cholic acid, lactic acid, even your acne fighting ingredients like salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, and also retinoids, which can be very hard to tolerate when you first start to use them. And the whole concept is that you can get the same or similar benefits from these active ingredients with less chances of irritation. Now I've heard lots of people say that they don't like to have active ingredients in their cleansers, for instance, because they're just rinsing the actives away. So it doesn't seem worth it to them. And when I spoke to Alex, she said she actually had that same sentiment before she started to look into it more. She actually referred to a study where people were using tretinoin at 0.05%. And she said that 85% of the people using it were experiencing irritation and around 15% of them experienced so much irritation within those first few weeks, they actually stopped using the tretinoin. So they are not getting the results over time. In the study, they had the subjects apply the same amount of tretinoin for just 30 minutes and then rinse it off. And the amount of people that experienced that same irritation came down to just about 20%. So it was a big change. And while you might think, well, that's because they just rinsed it all off. So it didn't do anything anyway. That's not true either. It turns out the tretinoin was just as effective for the majority of the participants in the study. So it's a really cool way to think about how active ingredients, specifically in the study, tretinoin works on your skin and how quickly it works on your skin. I will throw out there, there still needs to be so many more studies on this. There are flaws. I'm sure that you can find within this one study, but it does give you an idea that you might be getting the same benefits of your active ingredients by just applying them for a short period of time and then rinsing them off. That said, I'll also throw out there that Dr. Angelo Landrasina does not usually prefer this method for his patients. He says that if he needs to get his patient acclimated to a strong active, like tretinoin, he'll start with a lower percentage prescription and make them work their way up to the higher percentage and more frequent usage. So there are definitely different ways to acclimate yourself to active ingredients, but short contact therapy might be the right one for you too. I'll also throw out Jane thinks that it's great to use short contact therapy to acclimate your skin to actives, but she says really the goal is to use your actives more consistently. So if short contact therapy is a way for you to do that, then that's a great way too. So can you use short contact therapy with any of your skincare products? And the answer right now is pretty much yes, you can at least give it a try. So if you have a serum or if you have a cream that you feel like just irritates your skin and it's hard to get used to, you might want to try applying it, leaving it on for 15 to 20 to maybe 30 minutes, and then washing it off of your face to see how your skin acclimates to it like that. Dr. Angelo suggests trying it out with ingredients that you don't typically find in wash off products like your cleansers, for instance, vitamin C's and also your retinoids. Of course, you can also go to the original, the OGs of the short contact therapy products, and that is cleansers with active ingredients. There are lots of cleansers on the market that have salicylic acid in them, benzoyl peroxide, even cleansers that have lactic acid. I've seen a few of those, especially if you feel like you want to exfoliate or treat your acne on a more regular basis. This is a really great way to do it is with your cleansers that have these active ingredients already in them. And this is especially where I tend to hear people say like, oh, it's just gonna wash off. It's not gonna do anything. That is not true. There are so many ways that chemists can formulate your wash off products to really be effective, even if it's in a cleanser. One of those technologies is actually coacerbate technology. This is a technology 
technology that we actually utilize in a few of the Naturium body washes. Both the Smither and the Perfector body washes have coacerbate technology. And what that means is that it basically deposits these active ingredients onto your skin even after they rinse off. Jane says it works because the system utilizes anionic and cationic surfactants to deposit all of these active ingredients in both skin and in hair. So you actually find this in shampoo as well. There's also a really great video by cosmetic chemist Esther Olu. She's also known as the melanin chemist on social media, where she really just breaks this down talking about body wash. Let me put you guys onto a really cool technology used in cosmetics called coacervation. Just to preface, our skin and hair generally have an overall negative charge. And to get something to stick onto our hair and our skin, we pretty much need something with a positive charge. When we use cleansing products, the formulas typically have anionic surfactants, which are the cleansing agents. And when we want to condition our skin and our hair, we use cationic surfactants, which will help us improve deposition and also lubrication to give us that very soft and silky feeling that we really like. With coacervation, it's pretty much using an anionic surfactant combined with a cationic polymer to form a complex in the product, which is going to precipitate out of this structure right here called a micelle. And think of micelles as a large combination of surfactants. And this precipitation occurs when you start diluting and rinsing yourself with the product. In addition, any actives can also get incorporated into these micelle structures right here to get deposited onto your skin or your hair to give it the benefits that you want. Let's look at the Olay ingredient list to demonstrate what I'm talking about. So here they're using an ingredient, sodium tridesid sulfate, which is an anionic surfactant. They're using a cationic polymer, guar hydroxypropyl trimonium chloride, and they're also using other ingredients such as petrolatum. By using an ingredient such as petrolatum, this can even help improve the deposition of the retinol and give the conditioning effect you want to see in a body wash. A lot of variables control how these systems work, but they do in fact work and they're pretty damn effective. So if you don't like using actives in your leave-on products, you can also use these coacervate systems in wash-off products as a great alternative. And of course, there are other products that are actually made specifically for short contact therapy. And this is why I'm starting to think that this might be a trend that we see really take off, especially as we see people become more and more gentle with their skin and start to balance their skin instead of work against it. One product that I love that I've been talking about a lot is by Cypher. This is their 88 mile per hour short contact remodeling balm. This contains red aldehyde at 0.2%, but it's meant to just be on your skin for about two minutes. This is made to be more of a mask that you apply to your skin for about two minutes, and you're supposed to get all of the same benefits that you would get if you were to just leave it on your skin, but with much less chances of irritation. So it's a really cool concept. For people with really sensitive skin, I also love the Jordan Samuel Mandelic Mask. That mask is great because it utilizes a really gentle exfoliant mandelic acid and you only use it about once a week and you leave it on your skin for about 15 to 20 minutes to get the benefits of it. And if you're looking for vitamin C, Alex, who's a co-founder of Educated Mess, has a product called the Hair of the Dog Recovery Mask and it uses a conjugated gold stabilized vitamin C, which you guys know I love. It's in some of my products too. I love this product so much because it's so fun. You put it on your face just like a mask, it foams up and then you get the benefits of the vitamin C and then you rinse it off. So again, less chances of irritation for all those people who feel like vitamin C tends to irritate their skin. So that's short contact therapy. Yes, there are other ways that you can acclimate your skin to really strong actives, but really there's no downside to giving this a try. If you haven't tried short contact therapy, I highly suggest it, especially if you have products sitting around that you're like, mm, these were a little bit too strong for me, maybe maybe you can bring them back in your skincare routine. I'd love for you guys to give this a try and tell me what you experienced in the comments below, or if you have any questions or even some suggestions, you can also find me on Instagram and on TikTok. I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you guys soon.